Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Now the sharp-eyed among you will notice that this is not Project Hercules. That is not my single cylinder motorbike. You probably picked up the fact it's got four wheels and two seats. This is Matt's uh, Project um, Austin because we're in Matt's shed. And the reason we're in Matt's shed today is that Matt's picked up another bridge port. So this bridge port here came from uh, a friend of a friend uh, from an old job that I used to do at the ambulance service. And uh, this bridge port here is Matt's old bridge port that was also free of charge that he had to pull out of a bungalow. And he tells a really good story of how that came to be but unfortunately he didn't particularly fancy being on the film today the reason i'm quite excited about this is you may remember i've got a bridgeport model brj very similar to this one here and very similar to that one there and i've converted mine to cnc so although it's got a three axis cnc and it's probably the most popular video on my channel it's over 18,000 views um it doesn't have ball screws, so the only limitation is it's still got backlash. And that means that while it's great for doing some coarse programs, I can't really do a very fine precision job with it unless I use it manually or have to think very, very carefully about the direction of travel of the table to make sure that I'm always compensating for the backlash. And one of the things that I wanted to do was to change the screws in it, but the trouble I've got is the machine's working so well, pulling it apart would spoil it. So Matt's got these apart to take the best table and the best screws and the best nuts out of both machines to make one really good machine, or at least one that's as, as good as can be. So while everything's apart, I've shot over here to have a look. So this is upside down. This goes that way up onto the knee and bolted in here is one assembly, one carrier that's got the two nuts. The carrier looks like this. So one, one of the screws goes in that one, and one of the screws goes in that one. I've <laughs> just been interrupted by Matt's wife, um, who came back. So uh, where was I? So yes, one, one goes that way, one goes that way. These are the two screws that go in. So what I'm able to do is to buy a couple of ball nuts and matching screws, and I can fit them into this carrier without pulling my bridge port apart, which is excellent because I can get everything sorted. I can work out the distances that the screws need to go. This end is floating in the Y axis, in the X axis. It's a little bit more complex. There's two screws on the floor there. Obviously, there's a bearing carrier at each end. And we've got two different bridge ports here. One of them's got one type of um, power feed at one end, which is the same as mine. So I'm expecting I've got this type of bearing holder. The other bridge port's a little bit older with a different type of power feed on the end. I think that's gone already. It's gone somewhere. Um, so yeah, really quite exciting. Matt's very kindly uh, agreed to donate this to me so I can take out the nuts. I suppose I could just replace the copper nuts that are in here and preload them against each other um, on my bridge port to make the backlash absolutely minimal. But ball screws seem to be the way to go for CNC and that's what I'm planning to do. So like a kid in a sweet shop, I like seeing how things work. I like pulling them apart and, and seeing how they go back together and it's been quite an informative day for me so more updates on that will follow it's not going to be a quick process changing the screws because i'm going to have to perhaps do a bit of machining having bought the, scr the screws and there's probably about seven eight hundred quids worth of precision screw there by the time you bought the two nuts and the two screws but at least i can see how it all fits together without having to pull my lovely bridge port apart which is the main point of coming round so thanks very much to, to Matt of Matt Shed for letting me come in here and, uh, and for hiding while I make a video uh, and I'll let you know how I get on with that as usual thanks for watching and more updates will follow